Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on Fallout 4, and we are going to be heading to the Cambridge Police Station to talk to Paladin Dance. We need to return there. Also, I need to return there in general because I believe I have my stuff still in that, uh, still in that chest, or that first aid kit. There we go. I was trying to figure out the correct words. It's, uh, the first aid. That's what it's called, right? The first aid thing. All right, let's go. Got this Mr. Gutsy in detail. Wait, what is, what is this tool? Okay, that's like a hand. What is this tool supposed to be? It's like a little hand. It's weird. Okay. Did I grab this stuff already? Oh my god, it's gone! No! Son! You have got to be kidding me, dude. Wow. So either I grabbed all my crap out of there, or it's all gone. And I don't remember. If it's all gone, I'm gonna be heated. Why do I feel like it's all gone? Oh, you have got to be kidding me, dude. Alright, well, let's go in. I should probably watch the last episode and see if it's actually gone or I'm just stupid. Alright. Paladin Dance. Glad to see you alive and well, sir. Are we in luck, sir? Mission accomplished. We have the transmitter. Finally, some good news for a change. Nice work, sir. I didn't do it alone. Halen, Reese, it's time to welcome our newest recruit to the Brotherhood. She shows a lot of promise, and with the proper guidance, I think she has the potential of becoming one of the best. Thanks. I promise not to let you down. You don't have to prove anything else to me. Getting that transmitter was enough. So you decided to stay, huh? I expected you to take your payment and run. I don't have to prove anything to you. Yeah, you do. You need to prove that you aren't gonna put a round in my back the minute I turn around. Reese, that's enough. Like it or not, you're going to have to learn to work together. And you, you need to understand what it means to be a part of the Brotherhood. We're not soldiers of fortune. We're an army. And we've dedicated our lives to uphold a strict code of ethics. If you intend to stay within our ranks, you need to obey our tenets without question. That won't be a problem. Perfect. Then there's no need to give you a long lecture. So I'll get right to the point. I only ask for two things from anyone under my command. Honesty and respect. You fall in line, you stay in line. I give you an order and you follow it. It's as simple as that. There's one last order of business I wanted to get out of the way. I'm going to recommend you to be awarded the rank of Knight. Now, nothing's official until you speak to Elder Maxon, but I wanted you to be the first to know. Does this mean I'm one of you now? As far as I'm concerned, yes. Ad Victorium, Knight. She doesn't even know what that means, Halen. Ad Victorium means to victory. In our eyes, defeat is unacceptable because we're fighting for the future of mankind. Our rallying cry is more powerful than any weapon you could ever carry. Remember that. Now, I've received orders that we're both to report to the Pridwin. However, if you want to run a few ops for Scribe Halen or Knight Reese first, they could certainly use your assistance. I'll leave the choice up to you. Let me know when you're ready to mount up. Got plenty of artifacts for you to find. If you're up to the task. Yeah, your guys' quests are unlimited. They never end, so Excuse we're not me, doing Paladin that Dance. right now. Are you ready to head up to the ship? Of course I am. I've never seen anything so impressive. Takes your breath away, doesn't it? We call our ship the Pridwin. She's loaded with enough troops and supplies to mount a major offensive. If she's here, Elder Maxon's here. And that means we're going to war. Who's Elder Maxon? He's a dangerous man, that's what he is. 
Maxon is the commander of this division of the Brotherhood of Steel. He's the model of what every Brotherhood soldier hopes to become. If we're going to war, I can promise you that he'll be leading the charge. That being said, you're about to get to know the Pridwin up close and personal. I've received orders that we're both to report to her immediately. Follow me up to the roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride. Aw, yeah. Let's board the Vertibird. Now, that is down. Where are the stairs up? What the heck? Where are the stairs? There we go. Up the stairs we go. Gonna get myself a fancy... Okay, Paladin Dance, go through the door. Oh, what the heck? It didn't, didn't take my input. But, um... Gonna get ourselves a snazzy pair of... Or a snazzy... Uh, Brotherhood of Steel power armor. I couldn't think. Get a nice Brotherhood of Steel power armor. We'll be ready to rock and roll in a power armor. I don't have that many fusion cores, though. That's the only problem. Load... hostile during the flight. I suggest you put it to good use. Make sure you properly identify your targets before you start shooting. We don't want to have any mishaps and fire on the locals. I don't even see anybody, locals or enemies, so doesn't really matter. You really don't need to fire. Looks different from up here, doesn't it? It never ceases to amaze me how drastically your perception of the battle changes from the air. We're gonna need that edge when we take on the Institute. They've already proven that they're technologically superior, which means there's no telling what types of weapons they'll have in their arsenal. Hopefully, our air superiority and tactical know-how will make the difference. Now all we have to do is find them. And I'm betting that Elder Maxon will have a plan already in place by the time we arrive. I do like this though. If you shoot into the water, it does have the correct like water effect. Everyone down there believed in our cause, but they've been blinded by rumors and misinformation. They don't realize that the Brotherhood of Steel is the Commonwealth's last hope for survival. Every man, woman, and child below is in mortal danger. If we fail, it's only a matter of time before the enemy overwhelms the population. Cleansing the Commonwealth is our duty. And I will gladly spill my own blood if it ensures our victory. Let me just spray this thing for the fun of it. To the, airport. the Pridwin should be coming into view just ahead. We'll be meeting Lancer Captain Kells on the flight deck. Just stick close to me and answer all of his questions. You know, he likes to talk right when you start getting into a thought. Is there any enemies here? I want to shoot someone with this minigun. Can I shoot someone? Okay, fine, I'll just spray it. I'll just pretend I'm killing something in the water. Where is the Pridwin? I can't see it because I'm on the wrong side of the stupid helicopter. I think it's like... Come on, turn. Keep turning. Keep... There it is. What if I just light up the Pridwin? I don't even think the bullets make it there. Oh, we're about to unlock the best settlement in the whole game. And when I say it's the best, it literally is the best settlement. In my opinion. In my honest opinion, it's the best place to build. Right there it is. There's my baby. There's where my mansion was. Or is. Not was. It's where it is. I love that space to build on. I had to have spent like well over a day building in that area. So crazy that I that I spent that much time. It's a good thing I didn't do like a a build video for that area because that'd have been like a thirty parter. Spray up the pred one for fun. Yeah, I'm ready for this long-ass helicopter light ride to be over. I wonder what happens if I just light something up of theirs. Or a human, like, him. 
I'm not trying it. I shot, but... Where are we? In... Okay, there we go. I was like, what the heck? It looked like we were really far off to the right. God, that just looks like it should hit the min- What the heck is happening? Okay, did it really just freeze off of the autosave? No. Oh my gosh, the lag is real. Okay, Dance, where are you? Where the heck is he running to? What is he doing? Permission to come aboard, sir? Permission granted. And welcome back, Paladin. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you on a successful mission. And is this our new recruit? Yes, sir. I feel promoted her to initiate, and I'd like to sponsor her entry into our rankings personally. Yes, we've read your reports. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxon's approved your request and placed the recruit in your charge. Thank you, sir. And my current orders? You are to remain on the Pridwin and await further instructions. Very good, sir. Ad Victorium, Captain. Ad Victorium. All right, let's go dance. Okay, fine. You know what? I'll go inside, and then you can you can get teleported to us. I think I just have to speak to Elder Maxim anyway. I don't think I need to talk to dance. Is he gonna talk? Elder, your orders were to speak to Lancer Captain Kells. I suggest you follow them to the letter. I thought that I thought I thought that was talking to him. I didn't think I actually had to talk to him. I thought that was my I thought I, thought I just needed to talk to him in like general, not, not whatever that garbage was. My duty shift was long, but I'm glad we're making a difference. All right. I'm here, Captain. Kels? So, you're the one Paladin Dance has taken under his wing. <laughs> you don't look much like a soldier to me. Looks can be deceiving. Which is precisely why I personally insist on scrutinizing every recruit who boards this vessel. I've read Paladin Dance's reports. He seems to think you'll make a fine addition to the Brotherhood. You might expect an endorsement like that to grant you a great deal of latitude with us. But let me make one thing clear. The Brotherhood of Steel has traveled to the Commonwealth with a specific goal in mind. As the captain of this vessel, I won't allow anyone to jeopardize our mission, no matter how valuable they think they are. Understood? Absolutely. Good. That's all for now, soldier. Your orders are to proceed to the command deck for the address. After which, Elder Maxon wishes to have a word with you. If you have any questions, ask me now. Otherwise, you're dismissed. What are my orders? Your orders are to proceed to Elder Maxon's address, after which he wishes to speak with you. Anything else? Yeah. Where can I get power armor? Only knights are allowed to wear Brotherhood power armor. And you're no knight. Not yet. Until Elder Maxon grants you that title, You'll have to make do with what you've got. Anything else? Can you tell me anything about Elder Maxon? Elder Maxon is the Supreme Commander of the Brotherhood. Without his tenacity and his vision, we'd still be a small group of complacent stragglers occupying the Citadel and the Capital Wasteland. In a mere decade, he's grown the Brotherhood of Steel into a major military force. He's an inspiration to us all. Is there anything else? I don't have any questions. Then I suggest you head over to the command deck immediately. Dismissed, Initiate. Okay, now I can go talk to Maxim. Maxim's address is being held up. <sighs> Didn't think I would have to talk. I thought that counted. I don't know why I thought that counted, but I did. Brothers and sisters, the road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. Each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction. And most impressively, without question. Now that the ship is in position, it is time to reveal our purpose and 
are mi beneath the Commonwealth. There is a cancer known as the Institute, a malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb. They call their creation the Synth. A robotic abomination of technology that is free-thinking and masquerades as a human being. This notion that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. And like the atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their sins are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign will be costly and many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy. Itself. Ad victorium. Ad victorium. Ad victorium. Yeah, yeah, ad victorium. Them, you know, the people of the Commonwealth. If you say so. I can understand your indecisiveness. Turning your weapons on the very same people that you're trying to save can be a bitter pill to swallow. What do you want from me? I want you to start taking responsibility for this planet. To start making a difference. And from what I've read in Paladin Dance's reports, You've already begun that journey. Seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. And, befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Wear it with pride. I'll do my best to live up to it. I'm certain that you will. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud. Okay, what is... Oops. Open your personal storage container. Can't believe... Reactive. I want to go this way. I don't remember where my personal storage unit is. I'm not entirely sure where that is. I don't really know how to select it as the quest either in order to across the board, sir. Nothing new. Good. Carry on, Knight. Okay, I wanna go this way. Yeah, 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 thank you. There's a nuke cold quantum in my oh no, I can just take this. Yes. Give me all of this, because there's that guy up top. I can just sell all this stuff to him. Yeah, I'm stealing all your stuff. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. You guys want to leave your cigarettes down here for your smoke breaks? Well, they're mine now. Nuka-Cola Quantum is kind of the most important thing, but... Okay, so let's go around here. Okay, I think I'm going to do this. I showed it in a video, but we're going to do it right now. Where the heck am I? I need to... Wait, where am I? There. That should hold. Thank you, oh, here sister. We... You know, we wouldn't have to worry about them getting out if they weren't on the ship. Wait, no, what the heck? Where am I on the ship? What the hell? Where is the store and everything? Why is this confusing me? Um... Am I on, like... Am I going crazy? Yeah, 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 Ad Victorium. All that garbage. I just... Where the heck is the store? Am I stupid? Am I just stupid? Uh, no, I'm one flora. Okay, here we go. Nothing. I was supposed to report ten minutes ago. You can't fix it. 
I can fix it. You're the one who decided to kick your way through a mine. Hey, right, here's my power armor. Got it. There it is. So I think we're just gonna do a couple of house cleaning things. Including you can steal those power armors. I don't know if I'm gonna do it, but Excuse me, shop Dr. after Tegan. you fully checked in with Elder Maxon and Paladin Dance. We can talk shop after you fully checked oh, in with you Elder Maxon and Paladin Dance. Okay, so I don't know. Hold on, let me quick save before I do this. Do you think the Commonwealth looks bad? You should see the Capital Wasteland. Okay, is this steel? No, I can just take this stuff. Let me... Let me get out of my power armor. Come on. Come on. Can't break the code. Oh, I don't have master oh, stuff. Okay. I forgot about that. You gotta have master lockpick and stuff. But I'll come back there and probably steal all the stuff in there. Because he has an X1 power armor helmet. Which is... Really nice. So I want to steal that. You can talk shop after you fully check okay, in shut up. And and but he's got a lot of good and stuff back there in general. So you, I do want to get back there. I think he has Proctor Ingram. Alright, let's... Paladin dance. There you are. How did it go with Elder Maxon? I was very impressed with him. <laughs> He seems to know what's best for everyone. Exactly. Without his determination, we'd be lost. I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. I won't let you down, Dance. I promise. Good. Now, I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. But first things first. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. I'll go it alone for now, and come find you when I'm ready. Suit yourself. I'll be in the mess hall if you need me. We're in the mess hall right now, Dance, you idiot. We should stock up on supplies before we begin our next. I heard that Elder Maxon got that hey. scar on his face there are days from going I miss one being on out one the with field. Death Okay, hold on. Shut up, senior scribe. Meet Proctor Ingram, meet Proctor Tegan, meet Proctor Quinlan. Getting radiation Proctor Tegan. I Step forward, Knight. Where are you off to? Is it something I said? Step forward, Knight. Even though they've locked me in this blasted cage, I promise that I won't bite. Not really here to chit chat. I had orders to meet the crew. Rules, rules, rules. Everyone around here is so obsessed with the damn rules. I hope you're not another one of those by the book military types. Now, this is the stowage depot, and I, as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster, Proctor Tegan. The powers that be have me locked in here so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. That's good to know. I'm glad you're the agreeable type. When I tell most of the new recruits that they have to buy their own equipment, they give me the stink eye. The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. Yeah, I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. Of course, if you're just looking to make a few caps on the side, I might have some extra work for you to do. I could use some extra caps. You need them, and I want you to spend them here. It's a match made in heaven. It just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and interacting with the local farms. And since I'm stuck up here manning this one-man zoo, I need someone to do the legwork for me. After you're done with the meet and greet, we can discuss the details. In the meantime, if you ever need anything else, a gun, a mod, even ammo, you just let me know. 
Proctor. Remember, come find okay. me when you're done meeting the rest of the crew. Plenty of work if you need it. Unless you like getting shot, never turn your back on a gunner. Okay, yeah, thank, thanks for the advice. Okay, I think I'm going to cut the video here. In the next one, we will go and meet everybody else. I would have saved to meet him in the next episode. I thought maybe I'd be able to... Uh, what am I trying to say? I think I would... I, I, I can't talk. I was thinking maybe I could sell and buy from him, but I have to go meet everybody else. Uh, so I'm going to cut the episode here. In the next one, we will go meet everybody else, and then we'll, we'll deal with selling stuff to him. So I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out.